It's a relaxation of border restrictions for Victorians wanting to travel to WA. From Monday next week, those allowed into the state can self-isolate for 14 days at home rather than a hotel. And it'll help ease the demand on our hotel quarantine arrangements as our number of international arrivals of Australians returning home is expected to gradually increase. Restrictions on New South Wales residents entering WA are also being eased. The types of exemptions granted will increase, bringing the state into line with the rest of the country, potentially increasing the number of people allowed in. An Australian First app is also being rolled out called G2G Now. It uses facial recognition and location tracking to keep an eye on interstate travellers quarantining at home without police carrying out door knocks. These virtual checkups will complement our existing system in which WA Police and also Department of Health uh, make contact with people uh, and it'll obviate the need for many physical door checks. WA is currently dealing with its own COVID-19 outbreak. 17 out of 21 crew members from the Patricia Oldendorf have tested positive. Ten are in hotel quarantine in the small Pilbara town of Port Hedland. Seven remain on the vessel as essential crew. My preference is that we take the crew off. Uh, we can care for them better there. We can um, do the deep clean of, of the vessel and we can get it under, under sail. Work is underway to replace the ship's skeleton crew to help it sail out of Australian waters. But it's a difficult task as there aren't enough qualified workers in WA at this time. The unfolding situation has the Premier concerned overseas crews aren't being tested before ships leave port. They've got to properly test people going to sea. There was a failure at the other end where the ship came from. Emily Evans, Sky News, Perth.